Hello, intensive care unit, can I help you? Yes, hello, this is the ER nurse, and I would like to give report to the nurse taking the patient we are admitting to your unit. That would be me. Go ahead. Okay, did you receive the patient summary sheet that I faxed to you a while ago? Yes. It says the patient came in with hypoglycemia, his blood sugar was 17. All his vitals are currently stable, and he is allergic to penicillin. Do you have any questions? Yes. Why is he being admitted to intensive care for low blood sugars? Give him some food, recheck his sugar, and send him home. I don't know why he is being sent to intensive care. I don't make those decisions. Do you have any other questions? Yes, what happened leading up to him coming into the hospital? He was found unresponsive at home on the floor. When the ambulance arrived, they checked his sugar, and it was 17. When he got to the emergency room, we gave him an amp of D50, and his sugar came up to 25. So, we gave him two more amps of D50. He is now awake. Okay, that still doesn't answer why he is being admitted to intensive care. I don't know either. I don't actually know this patient. I just came onto my shift 10 minutes ago and was asked to call report on this patient. So have you even seen this patient? No. Then why would you ask if I have any questions if you don't have any intention of answering them? Well, we are very busy, so are we. Why don't you try to find out more information or better yet let me talk to the nurse who actually took care of this patient. They went home. What? They went home, and I'm taking over for them. Didn't you get report from that nurse? Yes, they just said that the patient was going to transfer. Okay, and you haven't even assessed this patient yet? No. We don't do full assessments on our patients. Are you kidding me? You are telling me that you don't fully assess your patients? No, we only assess what they came in with. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Is there anything else I can tell you? Well, why don't you look back in the chart and see if there is anything else you can tell me? Well, it looks like he had a seizure. A seizure. When? Here in the emergency room. Okay, that's the correct answer had I asked you where he had it. What time did he have the seizure? I don't know. I'm just reading what the chart says. It didn't last very long. He was unresponsive afterwards, so we gave him Narcan. Narcan? Why did he take a bunch of narcotics? No, but we gave him the Narcan to see if that would wake him up. And let me guess. It didn't. No. And then his heart rate went from 100 to 80, so we gave him atropine. Why would you do that? I'm very confused. He wasn't bradycardic. No, but the rate dropped, so we gave the atropine. I can't believe this. So you gave him Narcan because he was unresponsive and had not taken any narcotics and atropine because his heart rate was 80? Well, I didn't give him anything. That's just what the chart says. I just came on 10 minutes ago. Oh, that's right. So is he responsive now? I think so. He was sleeping when I walked by the room. Did you think to try to wake him up? No, like I said I haven't been in the room yet. Yeah, I got it. I don't suppose you know what his most recent blood sugar was? Um, I don't know. Let's see, we gave him the 3 amps of D50 at 5 o'clock and it was 25. It looks like we haven't checked the sugar since the D50. Jesus Christ. Just what the hell kind of operation do you guys run down there? It is now 9.30. You mean to tell me you haven't checked his blood sugar for four hours? Looks like it. Like I said, we are very busy. God help us all. I'm glad there is more than one emergency room in this city. Why don't you check a sugar right now while I hold and you tell me the result? Can't you check it when he gets up there? I don't remember my accu check code. Are you even a nurse? Okay, okay, I'll have the aide check it. This guy also has a history of diabetes and takes insulin at home. Could it be that's why his sugar was low? Oh, it says here he has a history of seizures too. Well good golly. Wow, now his blood sugar is 403. That sure is high. He had 3 amps of D50. Shocker. I've heard enough. I'm done wasting my time with this phone call. Send him up and I will sort through this mess.
If I ever have to come to this emergency room, I would rather die in the ambulance on the way here than actually have to get treated by you incompetent monkeys.